Hey friends, ah! welcome back to Bathrobe Bliss. I'm excited today because I'm going to show you um, different ways that I cleanse my crystals. So if you've noticed, I almost always, always, always am wearing one of my crystals. This was the first one I got. It was a gift from a friend. Um, it's called Rotocrosite. Visit my blog so you can learn more about the ones I have. I do not have a full list of all the crystals in the world. I am only building my list based on what I own because that's what's important to me right now. Um, but recently, I got three new necklaces from a friend of mine. She started her own jewelry making business with her gemstones and minerals and crystals. And um, it's called Stone Foundations. I'll make sure I put a link down below. Ah. So I got three new crystals and I'm going to show you them here. Um, the first one is Obsidian. And you can see the type of designs she does with the copper wire. Super cute. Um, and this obsidian is an arrowhead. So my favorite thing about obsidian is that it's very protective. It blocks off or creates a shield for negative energy. And it's in my zodiac. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's a Scorpio gemstone. I'm so excited about it. Ah! But I chose this one because um, for some reason lately I've been receiving and absorbing negative energy and I can feel it in my thoughts. And so the obsidian, the purpose of using that is to block all of that and it kind of creates a release for your negative thoughts so you can get rid of all of that and then I can get back to my regular balance self, okay? <laughs> the next one that I got um, is a is the amethyst. And so amethyst is the purple gem um, can be light purple, dark purple, a gradient. Um, now, this one I got specifically for um, my anxiety and my depression. Amethyst has different um, qualities to it, but it's also very calming. And that's what helps to relieve anxiety and stress that you might be feeling. Then the third one that I got from her is a clear quartz. Now, this is kind of like a... <laughs> A very general crystal you can find it anywhere basically but the purpose of this is to amplify your energy and it will also amplify the energies of other crystals that you might be wearing now I have told you the reasons why I chose those stones but if you want to read more about you know the different properties that they have you can go to my blog I have a few um, bullet points uh, for each one that I own, or you can just do your own research if you feel like it. And, and, um, <laughs> I have a stuttering problem and that's okay, but you can do your own research to figure out which stone would be best for you in the, in this particular time or when the, whenever you decide to get it, um, base it off of what's going on in your life and what's going to benefit you the most for your healing and your growth. Okay. So today what I'm gonna do is cleanse my stones, my new ones and my old ones. And I'm going to tonight, you know, later in the night, I'm going to recharge or energize my stones using the moon, if it's possible. Right now it's overcast. And so I might have to just um, use my plant. For those who don't know, um, putting your crystals near a growing plant Plants can also recharge them or energize them. Plants give off their own energies. And so that's why it's important to make sure it's a growing plant, not a dying plant, because we don't want that dying energy <laughs> to go inside of our crystals. So anyways, um, different methods to cleanse your crystals. You can do a, a salt method, which there are two different ways. Wet salt, or you can do dry salt. Today I'm doing wet salt. Wet salt means I am mixing sea salt with fresh water, cool fresh water, and I will submerge one of my crystals into that. The dry salt method is to just have dry sea salt in a bowl and submerge your stones in the dry salt for a few hours. The, the um, length of time that you cleanse your stones is really up to you. Only you can feel you know, the type of energy they have. And if you feel like it's a lot of negative energy inside of them, then you might want to go a whole day. Some people might go a whole week. 
Um, the important thing about sea salt is knowing um, which crystals can go into salt and which ones cannot. Um, salt can damage certain crystals, so do your research. Make sure you know what you're doing, okay? The other method that I'm going to use today, well, one of the other methods, I will submerge one of my crystals in just cool, fresh water. So I have a bowl, and I'll submerge it into that. I can also, you know, just run it. Um, <laughs> I can also just, like, have running water and just let the water run over it and just rinse it off. Um, but, you know, I'm sitting here today. <laughs> So we're just gonna submerge in water, okay? Other method that I will be using today um, will be smudging. I am not a witch. I know nothing about witchcraft. However, I use my sage bundle um, to cleanse my energies inside my space. And so I'm going to try to use that today to cleanse one of my crystals as well. So I have my sage here. This is it here. It was burning, but it kind of went out. So I'll just have to relight it when I get to that point. I have my bowl of water. It's just a little bowl because my crystals are really small. And then I have another one. So one of these is what I'll put my salt in. Probably the smaller one. <laughs> I don't want to use a whole lot. And I'm just using regular uh, sea salt. Okay. Um, it said that if you have Himalayan salt, you can use that. All right, so <clears throat> let's go. The most important thing <laughs> is to set your intentions and make sure they're very clear. Keep them at the forefront of your mind while you're cleansing your crystals so that, you know, they're able to do what you want them to do. So I'm not going to say mine out loud. That's for me to know. <laughs> it's very personal. And so I'm just going to make sure it's at the forefront of my mind while I'm going through this process. And that's what's going to work. So that process, um, it should only take, you know, a few, 20 to 30 seconds, no more than that. For the submergence, I will leave those in there for, today I'm only going to do it for about an hour um, because, um, well, that's all I feel like that they need right now. Um, and then after they're done with that, I will put them all I'm gonna put all of them next to my plant to recharge and re-energize oh my goodness you guys can't see me okay so that's all four of them all of my crystals I will set next to my elephant ear plant um because we even have a new sprout I'm so excited she's so beautiful so that they can recharge and energize themselves so that I get the I can reap the benefits of my crystals um, I want to make sure that whatever my intentions, my intentions that I set for them, they are able to do that for me. Uh, and the best way to do that is to make sure that they are charged and ready to go. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yo, make sure you go down and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're not on YouTube, it's called Bath or Bliss. Just go look it up. <laughs> If you're already here on YouTube, go ahead down, hit the subscribe button, like the video, share with your friends. Um, 
yeah, it's that simple. Thank you for watching. Go visit my blog for more information about crystal cleansing. And, you know, if you really want to get into this, you can do it. It's very simple. You know, find a crystal shop. You can go gem mining. That's something I really want to do. But always, always, always do your research so you know what's up. Okay? You won't be jumping into something you don't know anything about. <clears throat> oh! Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Uh -huh. I did that. This is my latest commission. It is an oil painting. Um, for those who don't know, hey, YouTube peoples. <laughs> I'm an artist. This is me promoting myself. <laughs> Commissions are open. I do all portraits now in oil paint because it's higher quality. It looks so much better. But yeah, uh, I'll make sure I put my IG account below so you can follow if you want to do that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Something wrong with me. I feel so weird without my crystal on. Oh my goodness. Let me get off of here. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.